It's a new project I'm going to work on. It's a mid-century Danish walnut chair, probably for a maybe a dining room or I think it's going to be a perfect desk chair for my son. I, I redid a mid-century desk for him and it's a it's a walnut so this will match it really really well and the reason I bought it it has a beautiful uh, Danish cord this is actually paper actually this cords made out of paper and uh, I've seen that before but I've never bought a chair with it because I said geez I could never do that so when I saw the chair I did a little reading and found out yeah you can do that or you can pay somebody <laughs> there's a guy in Jacksonville and there's another guy in South Florida I think their price is probably two to three hundred dollars for a chair which is reasonable considering the time and effort they have to do it the material itself you could order pretty quickly I found three sites I'm gonna buy it from a site out in uh, Berkeley California I found a book on the in the library actually that's highly recommended by everybody if you want to do this kind of weave or if you want to do cane weave or stuff like that so I, I ordered that book and then I found a great YouTube video on how to do this so I'm really looking forward to getting into that. The only thing, I worry more about the finish of the chair. I, I'm always liking woodwork, but I always get stuck on finishes. So I went to the woodworking shop here, and the guy was quite nice. And he said, look, um, you can talk to 10 different people. And they're going to give you 10 different answers <laughs> on how to finish this. It's filthy. The chair is just really, really dirty. And um, he said you could use mineral spirits and clean it up that way and then come back and use uh, Danish oil on it and then the next guy came up and said well I recommend you use Murphy's oil soap that'll really get it clean and then use Danish oil and then a third guy came up and said well I would use a uh, little soap and water ivory soap just a little bit scrub it down and then I would hit it with uh, tongue oil and see how it goes <laughs> so and then I looked on the web and I got 10 different answers. So the first guy was correct. You're going to get 10 different answers. And he, he said, just go ahead and do what you want to do and live with it. <laughs> so I don't think I can break it, but I'm going to go ahead and do the, a little bit of Murphy's oil soap diluted with water and just scrub it down because it, it does have a smell to it. I think it was in a shed probably for 50 years. But there's really not a lot of scratches, which I like, so I don't have to really sand it. And it's just I want to bring out that that original look where it wasn't varnished or shellacked but it has like a dull sheen to it and I think that's the look that will look great with us and then maybe later on if I get bored with it I might go see if I can find a really good guy that does finishes and ask him how to do it but I like that dull sheen that you get on uh, teak I want to do the same with this and I think that's what it was originally anyway from what I read and then I'm going to do the, the uh, Danish cord after that, and I imagine that'll take a lot of time, but if you're tedious, I think, um, you know, that's a project a lot of people can do, especially if the book and the YouTube video, just, you know, like the guy in the video said, he's been doing it for years. He said, well, just take your time, do it right, and you shouldn't have a problem, and if you make a mistake, don't panic, and just unweave it and start over, you know, try to do probably maybe a half hour a day until you're comfortable with it, and then move on. So I'm gonna try to do that. It's This one still has, the original maker's mark on it. I don't know if you can see it. So it was made by J.L. Mobler, a company in Denmark. And the, the nails in the back, they're not really nails, they're L-shaped nails. And you just weave around those things. And each nail holds two weaves. And then if you look at the ends, there's a set pattern you follow between each one. Usually it's four or five, two, three, four, five, and then you got a double strand. Now, remarkably, this is pretty strong still, as old as it is. And I read online, this stuff will last you 40 years, 50 years, or longer, as long as you don't get this wet. And you take care of it, and you can just vacuum it every day, or vacuum it once a week. And if you do get it wet, you know, wipe it up. But this is almost feels like string even though it's actually paper finely woven together. And there, there's three sites I found. I'm gonna go with the site in Berkeley and order this and order some nails and clean it up. I'm gonna do the legs first and the chair, get that refinished. And then I'm gonna cut this off 
cut off all this. I might save this and make something out of it just for just for something to do. It's kind of kind of neat looking. I'm not sure what, but uh, this should be a nice project. Something to do, something different. I kind of like it because I don't get exposed to a lot of chemicals other than the Danish oil. That probably stinks. But it's something different too. You know, my neighbors drove by the day and he saw that sitting there. He said, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, oh, I got nothing to do. And he said, okay, stay out of trouble. So this is just a good project for me. All right.